Yeah, we can't wrap this. Sorry. What? We have a technical difficulty. <laughs> I be like this, y'all. <laughs> What's the deal? It's the Boulder McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Like, comment, and subscribe. The link to my Patreon is in the description box. Also, the link to my merch is in the description box as well. Subscribe to my boy Black Mirrors TV to his new channel. Also, check out this movie Dormant. It's on Tubi. It's an independent black-owned film, produced, and written all black by my boy Jalen. Um, the link to the movie is in the description box. But the day is going to be a good day, y'all. I won. I won. This right here solidifies it. Sin Glorilla on the checkerboard print pattern today made my day. Because we won. I've been waiting for her to slip up. I've been working on this breakdown for a week, and this is all I needed to complete the breakdown. I had everything. I got everything. I had everything on her. As y'all will see through this breakdown, we have her tattoos. We don't have any lyrics from her, but we have her tattoos, her affiliations, her symbolism. We have everything on her. But this right here is the nail in the coffin. They're all getting out of here this year, y'all. I'm taking out all of them. All of them. Y'all want the Illuminati man back? I'm back. And I am him. Literally. Illuminati man, break it down, him. I'm him. Illuminati man t-shirts coming out soon. I'm, this is the most sequential, I don't know if I'm using that word correctly, but sequential, important piece of breaking down these artists. Every artist takes a picture with a checkerboard parent pattern. This lets you know they are with gang gang. This lets you know that, that who they are affiliated with. This lets you know who controls them. All these artists are puppets. They are here to misguide the youth. Glorilla is also here to make sure that they do their due diligence in keeping black people ignorant. And black people ignorant is a lot of money. A lot of money. Think about it. Incarcerations in the system. Weave. Fake nails. Black people buy it all. The brands. Think about it. Who wears Louis Vuitton, Amiri, Gucci, a bunch of brands that do not support anybody of color, but who buys it the most? We do. As soon as we get a little bit of money, it's the first things we buy. We buy these big, expensive brands that don't care nothing about us. Nike's another one. Glorillas are also going to be here to make sure our women stay toxic so we don't create families. Our men are misled by rappers. Our females are misled by rappers. Rappers have a strong, powerful voice in the black community. And y'all must understand that this is all by design. And by the time you see the end of this breakdown, you will see that Glorilla is a plant. She was put here and sent here just like Sexy Red. Sexy Red, you next too. I'm getting all of y'all out of here. I, I, I'm tired of all y'all. It's up. But Glorilla, thank you for shooting this video. I needed some solid evidence. And the checkerboard parent pattern is where we're going to start at. Now, this part of the video is going to get real redundant. And I don't care. I don't care if it's like, okay, Dwayne, we're tired of it. We get it. I don't care. I'm going to show y'all probably 50 celebrities with the checkerboard print pattern. 50. Before we get to that, we got to at least go to where it comes from and what it represents. All right. Now, these are some photos from some secret buildings that don't have no windows where a group of guys go to and they uh, do some ceremonies there. And these guys are supposedly allegedly have their hand in every single part of the world. You know, it's been rumored that numerous of times. And these are the ones who are behind the music industry, in my opinion. You have to ask yourself, why does this constantly pop up with every artist? Now, where is your picture at with this? I'm pretty sure we know a few people in the hood that wear I only know ghetto people that wear this pattern. But it's in every one of these secret buildings. Now, let's get to the meaning of it. The pavement is an old symbol of the, it is met with the earliest of the last century. It is classified among the ornaments of the, in a com combination with the indented tissue and the blazing star. It is partly colored stones of black and white and have been readily and appropriately interpreted as symbols of the evil and good of human life. And we already know what side these people are on. You know what I'm saying? They say that's what it's for, but I think they're only on the, the, the other side, the left. It says here, the pavement can be found in most 
if not all, regular throughout the United States and Canada. It is probable because of the variation of the and therefore of the requirements that a few exceptions exist in the U.S. and Canada and that the requirement is not as widespread in other countries, particularly in Europe. So it's a requirement that this particular pattern is in all of these secret buildings that normal people are not allowed to go. You must be invited or part of this group. This is in every one of these secret buildings. And this particular pattern seems to pop up with every artist. Like I said, I won today. I really feel like I won when I seen Gorilla do this because I said this is going to be my driving home point for this. And matter of fact, I'm just going to start a video. I'm going to start a video off of this stuff. Now, let's go through a bunch of artists that seem to have had this pattern pop up in their videos or on their clothes or in their pictures or their shows. All right. Now, as we seen earlier, it showed up in uh, Glorilla and we was going to call them Glow and red glow and reds video i'm gonna try my best not to say too many of their names of this video just just to protect myself y'all now this right here is marvin the stallion big old freak video as you can see this is on her channel this is just a visualizer for or just a lyric video you, they already got the pattern on that marvin the stallion is heavily heavily employed by them boys this particular individual was used to take down another artist i think his name was lane's and she, too, is another one that is used to be a bad influence on our particular melanated, melanated women. I remember 2019, y'all, y'all, 2019 Hot Girl Summer needs to come back. Hey, I'm not even mad at Meg for doing this. I, I partake uh, in a hot girl. I took full advantage of all you girls having a hot girl summer because y'all was not, we didn't have to do no dates. We didn't have to do nothing. Y'all was giving it up because, and it shouldn't be like that. They're making our women be fast, be easy. And they're making us be controlled by doing adult, physical adult activities. And these physical adult activities are bad for the mind, bad for the soul. Y'all, Trust me, y'all, I partake of this stuff all the time. And I see how bad it is for me. And I would advise that we start back going to the more the traditional routes, especially our ladies and our guys. Let's start back getting to know each other, going on dates, getting married. I think that'd be better for society. And these people are not doing anything that's for society. Meg is not for, about making society better. They want our women running rampant, our men going around, not thinking about families or legacy, and our men just thinking about one thing and trying to get one thing and this is best this entire movement is bad for society on both ends men and women and meg has had this particular pattern in two videos don't stop as uh, i think i showed y'all earlier and this other video i showed you earlier is called big old freak right and they that's what they want our women to be big old freaks and to do all this other stuff for men who are not their husbands or men they have no relationship to y'all i'm telling y'all fellas the games have changed I, I i live a really great life because of the influence of these of these particular rappers and here's another rapper young blue he really had a bad career he went and did all the different ceremonies all the different sacred events and uh he had the particular pattern in his video even got a brown feature a brown chris feature and rock the blonde hair did everything and he's nowhere to be found and he went up under one of the gatekeepers little bossy bossy little bossy i think it's uzi look not uzi b-o-o-s-i-e-b-a-d-a-z-z -Z. yeah he was up under him and you see what happened y'all keep on thinking b-o-o -O ain't down little boo is down and as y'all seen he made a cameo in this video me he too was around that pattern Ben told y'all Boozy got down. Ben told y'all that he's not one of the ones who got away with it. But he, he made his little appearance in this video, and he co-signs these two young females who puts out all this negative. He also puts it out as well. So when Glow did this video, I knew for a fact. I was like, yo, I, I, I'm about to shoot the game-winning shot. Let's go to some more celebrities that had this pattern. This is your boy J. Cole video. I told y'all, J. Cole breakdown coming out next week. I do not like him. It's real beef with J. Cole. I hate how he got so many fans and y'all brainwash. Y'all like him so much. And he y'all think he ain't part of it. He's really down. This is Little Peep. They this is Little P. They took this man out. And he was another one. I think he's playing another character though. Now this is out the Meg, Meg Marvin and Carlton video WAP. This video had a lot of innuendos and different uh, um we're gonna say representation. A lot of representation for this particular group that video exposed the 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 parties that that happens at the mansions this right here is from the movie coming to america eddie murphy you next nobody's safe this year i mean i'm taking everybody out i'm taking everybody i'm tired of this you know and i know how to make these blogs too without getting attacked this right here is uh let me let me zoom in little baby and i think that's big lotto or mulatto y'all see what they're standing on these two 
are part of it. And uh, we already got little baby out of here. Uh, the, the little baby Illuminati breakdown will return on my Patreon, so subscribe if y'all want to watch that again. That cannot be on YouTube. Y'all see Bobby Smurder? You see how that boy been acting since he got out of uh, incarceration? And you, you see what he's standing on. He, too, has to play part in the game and do these secret ceremonies where he has to make him embarrass himself on TV. T. Grizz T. Grizzly wasn't safe. He's part of it. A lot of people thought, oh, T. Grizzly can't. If you're in this particular group, or if you're in the entertainment, you're part of it. This is little Tay J. I don't even know why I like this dude. I listen to his music. This music was very, very mid. Subway. Music was very, very Subway. Uh, and this is a, who is this dude? Hold on. I don't know who this is. This is some dweeb named Cray Forever. He, he even down. And a lot of these dudes out here are getting down and going nowhere. So y'all are really giving up your own spirit to an entity and going nowhere. This is, she's kin to the Cyrus. She's young, highly Cyrus's little sister. And you see she partaked in all these different games. This right here is Selena. Selena was also part of it. Heavy, and her breakdown is on my Patreon as well. Subscribe to that one. That can't be on YouTube because uh, they're, they're not rocking with this stuff. Now, this is Chris. Uh, this is Brown Chris. Brown Crystal. Brown Crystal is also, he's heavily down. Heavily, heavily down. His breakdowns on my Patreon as well. We're gonna be having some breakdowns come to YouTube. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Y'all just gotta re-record them so we can be safe and protect ourselves. This right here is Paul uh, Hogan. Paul Hogan. He's also one of the guys who did it. Uh, this is my boy, past, present, past, and present. Was also another. He's another one. His whole entire new album. He talks about giving himself up to this entity. We'll make a video about that. This is my favorite rapper of all time, and I hate how they did him. But I don't even think the real version of Dwayne is alive. You know, I think he's gone. I think here's a clone. This is Win Stefan. Win Stefan. Win Stefan. Where did they even go? She. She's the reason why I can even spell bananas. B a n a n a s. This stuff is ban. This one is my boy, uh, Mr. Samuels. He. I think they took him. I already think he was an agent. They. He. He took a picture with that. That pattern as well. Y'all. I don't care if this part get redundant. I don't care if y'all blow Dwayne. Just we get it. Nah. And I gotta drill this in everybody's head. This video has to go viral. Y'all please like this video. Please share y'all. This has to go out to the whole world so y'all can see this and know I'm not making this stuff up. There should be no reason why this many people rock this particular ugly pattern. This pattern ain't fly. You got Gunner wearing it. This also appeared in the top most evil demonic videos of all time up with Lulu Vert, Lulu Uzi Vert, and Young Thug. And I'm really upset with the world about how they let these artists make these very, very representative videos of evil and nobody says nothing we still support these artists we clearly see what side they're on we clearly see what type of energy they want to bring we clearly see it and we and we continue to support them continue to be around them continue to 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 buy their shows and buy their tickets i get it they're fans we're fans i get it but when they drop videos like this there should be some type of outrage there was no outrage when little uzi vert and young third did this video i was highly upset i was highly upset about doja cat's video this is Kay michelle she got down even though her career is not really taking off, but she also sipped that juice as well. They all sip juice, y'all. You have to sip juice if you want to get into this entire, um, this particular group. Now, look, I don't know who this dude is, but he he, he rocking it. I just, I just snapped the picture. If y'all can tell me who that is at this time stamp, let me know. Wife and Lucci, and a wife and uh, Rucci, terrible, terrible. He's also rocking it. And he, he, he gave up time. So you can actually do that. You can actually do time. If you want to um, survive, here's her here's Hirachi 69. Hirachi Hibachi 69 was one of the biggest sell, sellouts of all time. One of the biggest. And he had this pattern in one of his videos with, with the, the, the Nixter Minage. And I was wondering how he get a feature with the Nixter Minage. But they put a lot into, into this dude here. But he came in, I really think he was a secret agent. He came in, he took an entire affiliation, entire street organization down, and he's out of the game now. And who knows where he's at? And he just trolls the internet now I don't, I don't i never trusted him from the beginning we got my boy who was giving up my boy key felt bad for him you know i, I really did want to get an eighth off my boy because I, I knew he had the loud but they, they took my boy out you know what i'm saying then you got mr j evj behind one of the puppets carrie M M mary carrie mary carrie's another one then you got natalie lemons espanola rocking the pattern natalie lemons is another one of the people that are down that was raised into this. I'm telling y'all, man, this is way too many celebrities at this point. Way too many. Michael Jackson, 
front cover of his album. Or if you look behind him, that's New York. And it looks like there's an explosion behind him. He was pre-telling us what was going on. This album was called Blood on the Dance Floor. Marvin Gaye's album. Y'all, this stuff goes all the way back to the very, very beginning, man. You want to see this pattern from the very beginning, from the very beginning, you know. And we also have another guy here who wants to take down masculinity, Pharrell. He wants to take down masculinity. He's also pushing the the agenda as well that is pushed by these this particular group. You also have RDC World here. Those guys, they they not left off the list. They getting they getting um, iced out. They getting taken take to the jewelry store. I'm taking everybody to the jewelry store this year. I don't know who this dude is, but as you can see, he clearly is, is part of the group. He has all the representation in his video, all the representation. Now, last but not least, we got one of the biggest of all time, Tupac. And I will be doing his breakdown by December. So be expecting that for Christmas this year, y'all. A great present for y'all. But as y'all can see, man, that was like 50 celebs that I showed, man. 50. 50 celebs. It wasn't 50, but it was quite a lot. Somebody counting it in the comment section. I'm not going back counting. But that's way too many. Way too many for somebody to watch this video. Be thinking, oh, Dwayne, this is fake. Oh, this is fake, Dwayne. You know, you just, you just, oh, you not blood. What are you doing? What, what was Sexy Red just doing? She throwing up. Yo, that right there is for them sixes. You not blood. You not blood. You not blood. I want to see Glorilla stat. I want to know who her big homie is. You not blood. This right here, don't get confused by this, y'all. I'll be seeing her in all red. That's a gimmick. That's a gimmick. She want to say she got... Anybody can get put on these street affiliations. Anybody. These celebrities get into these streets affiliations to make the masses of the youth think it's cool to be part of these street affiliations. Now, if you're raised into it, you're in a bad neighborhood, I get it. But for you guys raised in these good neighborhoods, y'all become part of these street affiliations so you can be cool, Throw up the signs, get the girls, get protection. I got a few homies who are party street affiliations. And guess what? They got a lot of connects. It is just like being part of a particular other group that takes parts of these secret ceremonies. Just like these groups, you have to do secret ceremonies. And all these street affiliations was created by the powers that be. Let's just say that. So when you're seeing old Miss Red here throwing this up, you not blood. It is for the hand gesture that a lot of other entertainers seem to put their fingers together and make. So are all these entertainers that throw up the same hand gesture, are they blood? Are they down with gang gang? Are they down with the affiliates? Is Oprah? Is Oprah down with them? Or she's just taking this picture and this is just all coincidental. Oprah, you next too. I'm taking you to the jewelry store. I'm going to buy you a big bracelet. Denzel, I'll be thinking, oh, Denzel isn't down. Denzel getting a bracelet this year. Too. I'm buying Denzel a bracelet, chain. Everybody's getting taken to the jewelry store this year. Mr. T, he sipped juice back in the day. I think he's got on the movies and stuff. He went to them, yeah, y'all, them, them uh, gatherings at the matches been happening. Uh, we got Jay and whoever this other lady, look at them. They so happy to be part of the group. Look at them. Happy to be part of it. They love this, y'all. They love it. And again, this is my favorite rapper of all time. But Wayne, Dwayne, Dwayne gonna get his work this year. Dwayne getting taken to the jury store. He getting two chains, three bracelets. You know, I might get him some rings. But Dwayne getting to there. And people be thinking, oh, Dwayne blood, though. Dwayne blood. Dwayne ain't blood. Dwayne was banging. Crip, now he banging blood. Dwayne was banging all that stuff. He was all over the place. And it's also up for Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, you getting taken to the jury store this year. Big chain, big ring, big watch, all gold. Now, this is just a collage, man. This is way too many right here. I can't name everybody, but, y'all, this is clearly not a coincidence at this point. For anybody new watching this stuff, let me know what you think. For somebody who don't believe this stuff, that there's not some type of secret organization in the entertainment world, we'll say. Now, this next clip going to hurt me because this breakdown will be starting in 2025, but I got to take down Fat Gucci and the clone. They're two separate ones. But Fat Gucci was down. And y'all don't know, I do have a term I say, them boys. Gucci Man was the creator because I noticed he kept getting incarcerated a lot and he kept getting out. And I'm like, y'all, Gucci down with them boys. There's no way he could get incarcerated out this, this fast, this much, doing this type of amount of time. No way. Uh, but anyways, we have another person here, the, the Beebs. The Beebs, you not blood. All these people not. So how is it that we can 
I can show y'all 20 celebrities back to back doing these gestures. And you could watch a video like this and be like, well, it's all coincidental. No, your favorite, your favorite person you like to watch on a TV screen is indeed a part of something bigger than you. And they are not the nicest people behind closed doors, even including your boy Cena. We spend the block on him because Cena has been very active lately. And let's go back to the 60s, the 50s. Why was the Beatles banging hard, banging bees? They definitely not blood. Now, these guys here, they're going to have to take like a week because these dudes here are going to need a whole week of breakdowns because the Beatles were very, very, very tight in. And we also got Mill Millie, one of the worst, worst. He, he made Dark Skin Brothers look bad, but I, I really didn't like how Millie went out. And we already, we're going to get him out again. We're going to take down uh, Skittles. Skittles going to take it down again. You know, we're going to most definitely buy him two rings and a bracelet. We got to take this dude right here out because he has a lot of allegations with him and younger males, and, it's, and it seemingly went under the rug because of the color of his skin. I have no idea who this dude is. He just made it to the collage. But as y'all see, we've seen, uh, we, we sh I've showed y'all numerous of other people who are part of this realm or in this particular group that has thrown up the same hand gesture, similar to Red. And I got homies, like I said, I got homies who are part of this affiliation and they have a lot of signs they throw up a lot of them red show us the other signs of the street affiliation and we'll believe you but as from my perspective outside looking in you part of the organization and guess what and of course this video has a lot of black women showing their backside knowing they're gonna well they ain't wash showing their backs and fellas i'm telling y'all man don't fall for this stuff, man. Ladies, they want us just looking at the women backside because these men who turn themselves into women, that's what the first thing they invest in because they know that's what we're going to look at. God made us that way to like curves. It's in our body, it's in our genes to like curves on a woman. We will. But there's also other curvature of a woman. Her hips. Can we show off hips? We also have the top of a woman, which are her, you know, whatever educated words you want to use for those two jug, jugs, you want to call them. There's also other curves we can look at. But where did, they, they're trying to make Glorilla this symbol of looking attractive, y'all. Glorilla look like Sid. Just like that sloth of Ice Age. That's who I see when I see Glow's face. She's not a good a good looking woman. They're trying their best to make her look good. They done made they done fed her some food. She has, I really think Glow is a dude. I know people saying Red is a dude, but Red came out with the tape. And she showed that it's real. And that's all women have to do to debunk these, these rumors. If you are a woman right now, you had you were entertained, you had rumors that you are a male, just drop the tape and you can shut us all up. When we can see that bad boy get lubricated on its own without the assistance of any other product, then yeah, we'll believe you. Red put out the tape, I believe her. But they trying their best to make Lil really look attractive. She's not. The only reason why they're doing it is because she's picked and she's trained and she passed the test as a child. So she went through the rankings and now she made it to her spot. And so they're going to do whatever they can because this is their candidate. No matter how she looked, they're going to make her look right. You know, they're going to put food in on her and wait on her so she can get a little backside. Because when, when Glow first came out, she had nothing, you know. And I do think that they got rid of the real person and put the clone in, the, the, the male. Now, the last part I found of this video that she, they did together was glow throwing up this hand gesture here y'all this hand gesture is a gesture that is used in the entertainment industry and it also means that they're part of an organization that they are part of a particular group and we can go in on this gesture here but i'm not about to say these words uh we, we'll put this out but i'll put i might throw something in there i'll show y'all what i mean now i'm not reading this please pause this video and read it yourself I cannot find a way to say this, edit it, or a way to get around this. Y'all, they will take me out of here for, for exposing this type of information. But y'all pause this and read this. That's the gesture that Glow is throwing up, this gesture here. And it means that you are part of a certain or particular group. And this gesture is also shown by lots of people around the world. Lots of, I'm going to show you a few entertainers as well. The guy over there across seas, I think Paris or somewhere, wherever this dude, this, this, this guy, religious dude be at, he was seen numerous of times throwing up this gesture because he's also a hidden figure amongst the community, a hidden figure. And uh, this right here was Christopher Columbus. He was also one of the guys who was hidden. And why do you think he's in our history book? He's in our history book for a reason. They put all the guys in our history book. 
um, for a reason. Now, this right here is the most important part about this gesture. This is Notorious L-A-R-G-E, Notorious Large. And he was seen throwing this gesture up a lot throughout his career. Now, me growing up, I thought this hand gesture meant West Side. That's what I thought it meant. Big is from the East Coast. Why is he seen throwing his gesture up so much? Big was throwing his gesture up so much because he's part of the same group that Glow is a part of, that many other entertainers are part of. And like I said, this dude here is also part from the East Coast. He's really from North Carolina. He's not even from upstate. Really, he's really a country boy. And he went to the West Coast for a few years, got indoctrinated, and started throwing up this gesture. So Big and Large and Peck, also through his same gesture up, but they're both from the East Coast. But we were told that this means, we're sorry. No, that means that you are part of a secret organization that secretly or allegedly has domination of the planet. But this is going to be the end of far as breaking down what I've seen in this video with Red and Glow. I will have the rest of the breakdown on Glow coming out soon. So tune in to that. First, but I want to end this by saying that they want our melanated women ignorant they they when we are out and we are shaking our rear ends all the time that makes us look ignorant when y'all are out at these little places if it's not music and you're shaking your rear end you look ignorant when you look at the rest of the world nobody else shaking their rear end the way we are and they always showing our women doing it because the they want us to be seen this way as a symbol of adult activities bedroom adult activities if you know what i'm saying that's what they want us to be seen as. That's what they want us to be. That's what I want our women to be. Ignorant, slow, symbols of adult activities. And they're going to constantly show us. And every time you watch a, a, a GLOW video, you see a bunch of females in there. They want our females with females. You know, when I was growing up, Kaya had men in the video. These videos now, you don't see these, these girls with men in the video. You know, when you seen the Beyonce soldier, it was guys. And all I'm getting at is, I don't want to see them dudes. I'm saying... We had women that were still with the natural order of life. They want our women dating women. Girl, when you go out to, the, to a scenery now, you see girls with girls, guys with guys. You look at a guy video, he has a bunch of dudes in it. He might have some females in it. But when I was growing up, it was the men that had girls that were unclothed. Now you got females with women unclothed in their video. Why is that? Why is that? They are pushing a, a, they're pushing a schedule to make everybody these deviants that only want adult bedroom activities. That's what Glow is here for. That is what she's going to continue to push. That is what all these entertainers will push. They have, do not have our best interests. And I am happy and excited to help partake in taking down the powers that be, which are these people that sell out. I hope y'all like the video, man. It's Boy McClain, Dwayne McClain TV. There will be the rest of this breakdown coming out because we got more on Glow coming out. Y'all be blessed, y'all be safe. I'm out.